Okay, you always have so many reasons as why to have to keep up with us. What's our my YouTube channel and Trust Media Uganda? We have moved over uh, 30 to 40 kilometers. That's a long and road. Uh, it's called uh, Kubaita Ababidi. That's Katabi. Then up to this place called uh, Reptile, Uganda Reptile Village. That's where I've come to experience life of, snake, or life of snakes and reptiles. We hope to see things like tortoise, uh, snakes, python. At the same time, we have so many. Uh, so let's try to enter inside and see. We are part by Big Organic Access Building for treatment issues. Just call the number on the screen. Let's see that they can uh, welcome us. All these things around here. Since Uganda is the part of Africa, we have to explore our country. I was at an action of recent. Today we are here at the, at the local home. I'm seeing a gentleman here. It seems they also know that, uh, that COVID is available. I'm seeing so many uh, things here. They don't. Snake bites and first aids. I'm seeing a gentleman here. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Are you fine? Yeah, I'm very fine. Okay, I think uh, either you or anyone else heard of our call. Yeah. That you're going to be here. Yes. Okay, that's nice. My name is Washa Manuel. Yeah, nice I've, to meet you, Mr. Washa. I've come to explore something here. You're welcome. Okay. Wow. As they have welcomed me, I just had to take time and wash my fingers because of COVID-19. Someone is here. And, uh, you know, it will be out of pocket. You don't have a cup of gallo. No, I will cheat the home. Wow. Okay, my name is Wasabano. Yes, nice to meet you, Mr. Wasa. Okay, your name is Lawrence Rutaya. Lawrence Rutaya. Yes. Thank you for maintaining the nature. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah. I, I called the director yesterday. Yes. We had an appointment. Yes. I don't know what I knew about it. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. That's good. Yeah. This is the home of uh Reptiles. Can you say hi to my people? Hey boys. Mm. <laughs> All the people you? watching you on Yeah, actually. Um Lawrence Utaya, Uganda Reptile Village. Okay. I welcome you all in this place. Okay. So uh, you are going to be viewing nice things on the uh, Uganda Reptile Village. Okay. Let's go and enjoy. Yes. Let's come in and go together. My name is Waso Emmanuel. We are at the Snake Park. That is Uganda Reptile Village along Entebbe Road. It's a very scary room. Eh? <laughs> you know that where I'm seated here, you can see we are having over seven cobras. Eh? Mm -hmm. Seven cobras. My God. Boss. Did you get a good idea? 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 Correct. You want to give a the Okay. snakes they have different uh, behaviors. Okay. Yeah, and defensive mm -hmm. mechanism. Like our uh, python. Python room. room. Yes. Yes. Well, I be python and get just striking them, um, just striking them um, like a half a meter, mm. the judge tool. Mm. But after, when I come as a over, I could just some boy, I walk away then you get to eat and you come to worry. Okay. Over, I could just some moza. Ah, ne miso te, no miso to mala go na go na. Okay. Bukole echo, singa buba bugeza koko defending. I know monti e nini. Okay. So now. Uh, for the case of the cobras, for them, what they will do first? Yes. yes. They will first warn you how. How. They will raise the hood. That one? Yes, mm. this hood. To make it flat? Eh? Yes. But if you don't to you will be able to do it. So, if you don't want to do it, you will be able to do it. Hey, hey, hey. You will be able to do it. Wait. So, it will take a hood to warn you okay. that please and please and please stop from there, respect me. Okay. I'm a round boss. Mm. Mm. You sign your cobra. You will be able to do it, you will Cobra, you it has to raise the hood up. Negeza mm. koko uh, gamanti am around. How long is it? Nti awe chepose. It is ready to do the attack, the strike. Yes. Or it is ready for anything which is coming. Someone would like to ask to know. Yes, yes. That uh, if it bites you, yeah. How long does it take for you to die? <laughs> 
If you don't get treatment quickly. Most of the people that is their common question basically. Yes. Yeah. Uh if you get bitten by a snake, you don't die instantly. Like for this, this is not a bullet. Mm. Uh, like some someone has been shooting with a gun. This is a snake bites. Like let me see if you get bitten by a snake. One, it will depend on the way how you have been panicking and so on. Mm. The heart beat. Yes. Okay. Because the more you you, you panic, mm. the blood moves faster. Okay. So if you get bitten by this uh, cobras, one, they have uh, their venom is called a neurotoxic. Yeah. How do neurotoxic <coughs> react in a body first of all before you not know that time in your mother? Okay. Uh, how do neurotoxic react in a body? One, uh, it, it beats up the nervous system. That is a time when you cannot raise the hand like this. Mm. That is the neurotoxic. That is a time when you cannot see perfectly. The paralysis. Yes. Mm. That is the time when you cannot speak like perfectly. Okay. Then after. It shuts off all the powers in a, in a body. After it shuts your system. Yes. Okay. Um, that is the neurotoxic. Mm. So, that time it depends on the way how you have been reacting. Mm. Yeah. I could say you can have like from 30 minutes to uh, 55, actually even an hour before. When, yeah. When you're still alive. Mm. But when you react more, at times even you don't reach 30 minutes. What? Yes. In just in just ten to fifteen minutes, yes, if you then, panic, yes, then you're dead. The be, you can at times you don't be dead, mm. but that is the time when everything is off. You just shut down. Yes. Uh, so what you have to do, the best option or the best first aid if you're being bitten by a snake, okay, it is just to stay calm, which is very high for some for so many people. For so many people. But that is the best solution because at times as you can be bitten, you can get bitten by a snake in a certain uh, place where there is no any kind of a first aid. You have to stay calm. You are fighting for your life. So the more you panic, <coughs> and actually, if you the snake, you have, you have been bitten by a snake, and let me say, people gather. Mm. You know, in those people, you get one who could tell you, "Oh, we are with you." Then you just lose hope. Yes. So it's better than you chase all those people mm. telling you that uh, when, yeah, when they die to you for press news. So uh, you are going to be very old. Okay. Yes. Now I'm seeing them in different colors. Yes. Are there different types? Yeah. So um, right now we have two types of cobra. Okay. Some cobras they can be together, others they can't be together. Mm. Like so far now we have two types of cobras together. Mm. We have the forest cobra, which one? Which is black in color, these black on the color. Okay. Yeah. Mm. These are the ones which are very common mm. in every part of uh Uganda. Okay. Uh the reason is that our you know the way our country is very green. Okay. And in most places we have water sources like lakes, a river, mm. a dams, swamps. So we have a lot of forest areas, bushy environment. Uh, so that is the reason why we have them in most parts of the country. And that is the actual where they got their name, forest, because they normally like to be in such kind of uh, forest, yes, environment. Um, and it is one of the common snakes here around in the area. Okay. Because we are surrounded by water, forest areas, the bush environment. So. The reason why they like to be in <coughs> such areas, one, um, that's where they get something to eat. Okay. Two, that's where normally they sleep. Mm. So we people, we always now, these days we have started building uh, near those places like in a swamp and so on. Mm. So one day, one time, the snake will enter into your house and you start like crying mm. and you're the one who have tried to, to spoil the environment. Yes. Wow, that's nice. Uh, you're still with us on Mwaso on my YouTube channel and Trust Media Uganda. We are experiencing how snakes and reptiles survive. We are at uh, Uganda Reptile Village in Entebbe, Bunono. Yes. Can you direct us or our visitors who are coming to come here? Uh, basically, when you're coming to Uganda Reptile Village, you okay. can branch off from Baitabavili. Okay. It is just five kilometers away from the 
main road. Okay. You'll be seeing our signpost when you're coming inside here. Mm. We're in uh, Bonono village. Mm. Then when you are like from that side of um, Entebbe, you can branch off from uh, um, Katavi. Okay. Then you will be seeing our signpost. Mm. Again, it is the same kilometers, mm. five kilometers. Okay. Yes. So you will be seeing our signpost up to Uganda Trail Wow, that's nice. I don't think I have any more questions to ask about this. Muzoriakuyaji, which kind of food? Uh, basically, we normally feed them also once in a week. Mm. Uh, that is every Monday. That's why you could see them. They're looking very healthy and good. And which food do you give them? Basically, we give them frogs. Okay. We give them rats. Okay. They basically these Arabian rats because mm. these other rats are not so easy. Do you give them dead ones? Live ones. Live nice. ones. They normally feel very good when they are doing their own anti battles. Eh? Yes. Okay. Then for you killing them, and mm. then they even can feel it. Mm. Um, eggs. Okay. Uh, frogs. Mm. Yeah. And even sometimes these small chicks. Wow. Of one day. That is what There's something I'd forgotten. Yeah. You told us that you have two types here. You, yeah. you explained one. Yeah. yeah. The other brown one, that one. Yeah, the brown one, that is the one which is well known as uh, the Egyptian cobra. Yeah, this is the Egyptian cobra. Okay. Yeah. The Egyptian cobra, basically, they are commonly found in the same desert area. Yes, I can see it looks like a, the yes. brown soil. Yes. And at times, even in a dry environment, like in a desert, yeah. you are in, mm. that's where you can access that. Okay. So here in Uganda, there are very many or there are more in the eastern route that is Sorori, Karamoja. Okay. Yeah. Because it's semi arid. Yes. And dry. Exactly. Mm. So and it is one of the most aggressive type of a cobra we have here in Uganda. Okay. And again, they have actually the same type of venom, but for the Egyptian cobra is more of concentrated. So when it comes to the bite, for mm. them, their venom is a bit different to the forest cobra, although it is the same neurotoxic. Okay. Um, these things are a bit confusing, but when it comes to the bite, <coughs> neurotoxic is of um, Egyptian cobra is a bit concentrated mm. compared to the forest what cobra. What do you mean by being concentrated? Is like, it more stronger? Yeah, it's more stronger so than the other is the, so deadly. Yes, than the forest cobra. But forest cobra it is the biggest uh, is the biggest type of a cobra we have on Africa, and it is again it is the same snake with a lot of venom in a cobra family. Okay. It injects a lot, mm. but it is not so 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 deadly when you try to relate it with the uh, Egyptian cobra. So has it ever bitten anyone here? No, most of the people working here, oh, all of us who are working here, we are trained. Yeah, we are trained and we are professional in this field. So for us, we know the behaviors okay. of a certain animal. Mm. Like, you, there's a time when we know that this animal is not like in its mood. Yeah. So please, you have to keep it. Yes. So for us, we know the behavior of the animals. Okay, that's nice. Let us go around and see other animals, like uh, we are remaining with the tortoise. Uh, we have other types of um, cobra, cobra, like vipers, mamba. Other snakes are there. Yes. Let's go to start to see them. Yeah. Okay.